The third and fourth stations. The Sanhedrin condemns Jesus. Luke 22, 66-71 and Peter denies Jesus three times. Matthew 26, 69-75 we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My dear friends, the Sanhedrin was the governing body of the Israelites. They governed and imposed the lawful practices in Israel. It was the official body that served justice, just as we have in our courts today. Yet, when Jesus is brought before them, an innocent person, he is condemned to death. The highest body that was established to be just, to give life, to protect life, sentenced an innocent life to death. And it was not just the governing body, but the crowd too. They were instigated against an innocent life. The people who gathered there did not even think about the person in question, who Jesus was. They did not think about his personality. What was he going through? And yet, they supported because someone else thought that Jesus should be crucified. In situations like these, we need to ask ourselves, how reflective are we becoming towards the actions taken by those governing our society? Do we blindly follow and believe our authorities just because they hold power and decide what is good for us? Do we at least for ourselves reflect on the effects of their words? Reflect on the biases they may be having? Reflect on who will be benefiting more or losing more? Do we question what we hear and see or are we like Peter who live our lives in denial? Knowing what is happening, we deny the existing reality and very often remain quiet because we are a small number so we fear. The great changes in society and more so in one's life do not come unless and until we learn to question and are willing to know what is right and just. If we as youngsters desire for a better society for ourselves to live, then we need to spend a little time to think over the situations of our lives and those in which we live. Our activity. We invite you to take up any news from these days and ask these questions. What is the message? What should the message be according to you? Who is the one highlighted? The actual person who deserves to? Or those who want to make a name? Who should be shown according to you? How considerate and thoughtfully were the decisions made? What should be done according to you? 
who is affected the most and what is being done May we, during this holy week, ask for the grace to become persons of reflective minds and consciousness. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy.